it's Pinky. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit today about being comfortable in your own skin. A lot of people are honestly just not comfortable in their own skin and by that I mean they have other issues which bring their self-esteem um, down a bit to a level where they have trouble you know interacting with people socially or um, it may manifest in a lot of different ways and it really gives people trouble when it comes to relationships to uh, selling themselves on job interviews or um, just basically being able to function in the world and be comfortable I mean people get very awkward in certain situations now uh, a lot of things can happen to an individual when they're coming up that helps to foster this kind of um, reaction or this display of low self-esteem and it doesn't have to be very severe but it, it does hinder a person from going forth and doing those things that they really want to do but that self-confidence level is, is sort of low so they cannot do so um, there have been a lot of people growing up who were told by people that they wouldn't amount to anything or you have people who were possibly picked on as children by bullies or whatever you have situations also where individuals have been abused as children or molested or violated in, in certain ways and that does have an effect on uh, self-esteem so I can say for myself that growing up I wasn't really uh, what people assumed that I should be and it's based on something that's very false which is is my appearance you know and that is how people judge others sometimes and kids are very very cruel but um, coming up I was really a nerd and I you know did not really speak like the rest of the children um, I read a lot of books I mean I've been this way for a long time but you know in the inner city and where I come from that wasn't really looked upon as something very good uh, unfortunately it just it just wasn't so I got teased for that sort of thing uh, to teachers pet or you know I'm trying to act white even though I don't know how you know trying to answer a question is acting white and then when I got older or in my high school years it was assumed that because of my appearance that I was supposed to have all these boyfriends or whatever or hang out with these so-called popular children um, or you know when I did have a boyfriend or whatever it was assumed that you know I was a, a sack chaser which is what we called them back in the day <laughs> um, I don't know if they still call it that or not but a woman who is just with somebody for their money which you know I'm totally the opposite of that you know if, if you cool with me you cool I don't care what you have or what you don't have you know what I'm saying if we have a good conversation and a good rapport then I'm cool with you period you know it doesn't matter all the other stuff how you look how you whatever is to me is how you act and what's in your heart but when you get older it's it's difficult at first to find out some of those barriers that you're having to achieving whatever it is that you want to achieve and also in my own case I I was not comfortable in my own skin I've always been a sort of nonconformist type of person you know I wasn't too much into the all the fashions that everybody was into at the time I mean I may have looked up so to speak and got something that was a designer garment or whatever but that was purely based on the fact that I liked how it looked I don't give a damn about somebody's name on me I mean like right now I got on like a Calvin Klein sweater but I like the design of the sweater his name just happens to be on it I didn't just say oh that's Calvin Klein give me that you know and that's how I've always been I don't I like what I like I don't like things based on the place that they hold in the American psyche at the time you know so when I was uh, coming up and when I uh, subsequently went to college I started to become more comfortable with myself but I still lacked a lot of self-confidence and I really needed it at the time because I was engaged in learning 
uh, speaking techniques and being up in front of classes and then subsequently going and talking to others in different venues because of offices that I held in, in certain organizations. And I found that every time I was supposed to get in front of people, I just wanted to shrink away and die, okay? I wanted to crawl under the podium, <laughs> all right? Just to have all those eyes focused on me was just unbearable. And I did not understand. It was because I was lacking in something in myself. You know, they, these people don't know me. They didn't do anything to me. But I thought that it was the worst thing that could possibly happen to me was to speak in front of people. Now, of course, when I gave those actual speeches and then I would talk to other people or friends afterwards, they would say, well, you didn't look like you were nervous or, or whatever you did well. I mean, you looked like you had confidence. It's because, I don't know, it was like an out-of-body experience. You know, I would get up there and I would start talking and speaking and forcefully or whatever, and the nervousness just never went away. It was like another human being took over my body and, and went forth and did that. But me, in, on the inside, I wanted to shrink away and die. But I started to examine myself and some motivations that I had for doing certain things. You know, as you get older, you, you, you try to find out, okay, why am I having a tr tr trouble with this? Why am I struggling in this area? And I just wanted to say that the first step to overcoming some of these sorts of issues is self-examination. You have to find out who you really are, what pushes your buttons, what motivates you. And the other thing is you really have to stop caring what people think about you because in this world everyone is going to have their own opinion of you and you have to know and realize that if whatever those persons are saying isn't true or if it doesn't apply to you then it doesn't matter okay getting all twisted up in knots or being upset because of something that somebody says to you or thinks about you when it's not true is actually giving them power that they don't hold. You are the person who defines who you are. And as long as you're going about your daily routine or your business and interacting in the world in a in a respectful and pleasant manner, then the people that so-called haters or hate you don't really have any just cause to do so. That's them. That's their issue. You cannot make it your issue. Because if you go about in this life trying to please everyone else you'll never be satisfied okay now you do have some close acquaintances or friends or relatives or whatever who may have their own opinions okay and you can take into account what they say but as far as changing who you are for another person I don't believe that that is very healthy for an individual because it'll always have you stressed out it'll always have you defining your world based on what other people in the world are thinking and doing and saying and the world is just too big for that okay you're going to encounter so many different people with so many different viewpoints in this world that you cannot afford to do that now as far as confidence is concerned there's a big difference between overt arrogance and confidence now I know that the line blurs sometime and that some people may take others who do display confident confidence as being arrogant but like I said that's their perception. If you're not meaning it that way, and if you're not just going about thinking, okay, I'm just so wonderful and everybody else isn't, you know, that that is overt arrogance. Confidence is just knowing who you are, trying to do the best that you can in a certain situation, and putting forth the best effort that you possibly can. Okay? It's, it doesn't involve thinking that you're better than anyone else. It's just doing you. Okay? And there shouldn't ever be anything wrong in your own mind about doing you okay so that's all I really wanted to touch on on that subject but I just wanted some people out here who are struggling with certain areas in their lives and they feel like um, they should be getting a little bit further but there's barriers to it because they are shy or that other things are hindering them that it's okay you know you have your own levels of achievement but just know that as long as you are satisfied with how you put forth your effort and as long as you haven't tried to dog anybody out along the way that is fine it's, it's perfectly okay all right and it's, it's fine to know what you're capable of and to be able to display that in confidence and not feel bad about it 
and not feel apologetic for it. Okay, if someone else around you feels bad about it, then that's their own self-esteem issue. That's their own issues with who they are. That's not an issue with who you are. And that's all I wanted to say. See you later. Bye-bye.